Hey everybody, welcome back to Sonic Mania, or you know, lever pulling the game. Um, so, <laughs> now that uh, Ocean, Oil Ocean, sorry, is ignited, we, oh god, <laughs> we uh, have to stop the fumes from all the oil burning to not, you know, make Sonic die. Like, his rings keep draining and stuff now, like if this fume gets too much, he can't breathe, I'm assuming. So, uh, this mechanic is just borrowed from Sandopolis, from, like, Sonic and Knuckles, which is... I mentioned, like, last time was just really irritating, um, because it was just, like, a pain. It just kind of, like, stops the game, like, a little bit to hold those levers there. I mean, it seems to be faster in this, and, like, it's not as bad, because, like, at least the level layout of this, um, isn't quite as, um... I know, confusing as Sand Sandopolis was. Like, the inside the pyramid and everything is where you had to do that. And it was just really irritating. Oh god, okay, I didn't want to do that. But I, I'm really happy now because um, I can give you guys that bonus episode I always w really wanted um, for this game. Because I managed to... Oh god, I'm, my rings are draining. Ah, I gotta get to the switch. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, because I, I managed to get, like, a whole bunch of medals, like, on my off time, just playing on my own, and I managed to, uh, complete enough blue spears, some of them gold, some of them silver, um, but I unlocked Mean Bean Machine, so my wife and I can, you know, do a bonus episode for you guys of some good old Poyo Poyo, or, you know, Mean Bean Machine, it should be a lot of fun, I hope you guys join us for that, because, uh, you know, it's... Probably one of her favorite puzzle games like she really likes the aesthetic of it, and I used to own uh, What was it the Sonic Sega collection or whatever? Oh shit um, For the ps3 or no, it was the Xbox 360. That's right. Um, oh Shit, I actually have to get up there. Fuck uh, <laughs> There we go. Oh, I should probably grab that switch there before this gets too much. There we go and um, She I think I told her, like, yeah, it had, like, a bunch of Sonic games on it, but I think I told her, like, um, that Mean Bean Machine was part of it, and she was like, oh, yeah, well, let's just see how that is, and sure enough, she really ended up enjoying it, and it was pretty cool, like, it would, it's just, she was really surprised even when I told her that Mean Bean Machine was in this game. She was just like, no way, like, yeah, they just called back to, like, some, like, spin-off game that I don't think anybody really paid attention to, and... You know, like, it, it's weird because, like, I, after this game's been out for so long now, um, like, a couple weeks, I think, or it might be, like, three weeks now, um, people said that that part wasn't really great to them because, like, they, they felt like it just stopped the game to, like, play this, like, puzzle game with Robotnik, but honestly, like, if you're a huge Sonic fan, and, like, I am, or anything like that, um, it, it, it was, like, really surprising, like, Granted, it's not... Oh, God, I am just freaking... Just burning up. Oh, God! Okay, it's draining my rings. Oh, it gets faster and faster the longer it stays. That's crazy. Okay. But, yeah, it, um, if you're, like, a Sonic fan like me, and you, you were kind of just, like, really happy about it, like, I know a lot of people haven't really played too many Sonic games, and, like, I, I think that was mostly the people that were complaining about the fact that it had, like, this weird, like, puzzle game for no reason, or like, Poyo Poyo, and it was just like, what the hell? <laughs> but, you know, for for people like me, or, you know, like, uh, other fans that have stuck with this franchise for so long, it's just, it's insane. Like, just, the, the fact that they even put that in the game, um, they, they really did make this for the fans, I, I feel, definitely, and, like, just everybody involved in this was just amazing, like, the, the guy that redid the music, um, for the second acts and even kind of like updated some of the older tracks and all that stuff and like Christian Whitehead who had to do with like the ports of Sega CD and a few other Sonic games um, for PC I believe and they were just fantastic too like he did a hell of a job and it's it's great that he has like his own company now you know and he's uh he worked on this game and I, I really hope that they do decide to make a sequel to this um you know like Sonic Color, or like, well, I guess not Sonic Color, Sonic Generations is kind of getting a sequel in the form of Sonic Forces, but I don't really consider that to be, like, the same thing. Like, it would be nice just to see, like, a 2D Sonic game like Sonic Mania, where we get, like, a bunch of... What the hell is this? 
redone zones and stuff. What the hell? There's like a giant octopus. Okay, that was really interesting. All right, we'll do it up. Oh god, whoa, okay. I was like, supposed to react to that. That was really quick. Oh hey, it's got this part of the battle too. Wasn't it? I I'm pretty sure this part was, uh, oh cool. Shoots like laser beams. But this part of the battle, oh it has like lava reef zone too. Like that boss. Oh shit. I have like no rings. <laughs> yeah. Th this fucking big like goofy ass octopus has these big eyes and Sonic's just like, oh. <laughs> As he does. That was great. Just the whole image of that made me laugh. Okay, that was uh, interesting. I didn't expect that to happen. Oh Jesus. What the hell? What just happened? How did I die there? <laughs> I was so confused. Okay. Um. All right, I'll I'll take it. I th I guess I like didn't jump out of the oil fast enough and just got crushed or something. I have no idea. <laughs> or or drowned maybe. I have no idea. Oh, it, okay, it does follow you. Okay, I was just wondering if that'd just be in the center or not. And this thing also follows you too, but it's so far away. Like they give you so many platforms to avoid shit. Whoa! I love that effect. That's so cool, actually. Okay, got to make sure. Ah, god. That I don't get hit, and I still got hit. <laughs> destroy these stupid things. Oh, they only take like three hits, okay. I don't know if I have to des destroy the giant octopus, which I'm assuming is what I have to do, or if I had to kill every part of it, because I'm pretty sure you can't attack these. No, you can't, okay. Oh, hey, well, I can make it actually like follow where I'm going. That's cool, all right. Oh, kill the stupid, no, I want to kill it. No, God damn it! <laughs> whatever. Uh, it's gonna- yeah, it's gonna follow me, okay. I love how this boss, like, it's just in this, I don't know, like, giant freaking oil factory, and it's just this cute freaking octopus thing, like, what the hell? It's so strange. Oh no! Oh god, I thought I grabbed that ring! Holy shit, this boss is actually kind of tough. I, I don't think I'm, like, really paying attention to what I'm doing, though. I need to focus. I need to be become the Sonic, and then we shall destroy Robotnik. Okay, I can only hit him once there, which is unfortunate. Oh god, I gotta make sure I'm actually jumping out of there. I'm almost like freaking die, ah, died again. <laughs> that is so fast. Okay, you can't get me this time, lasers. It's not gonna happen. Ah, sucker. Ah, missed me. Oh, cool, I could hit him twice. Whoa, that was really close, but I still got hit anyway. Oh my god, my rings are gone already! Oh no! They just like, they just fall into the lava. Or the oil, I mean. That's unfortunate, okay. I am really not being careful with myself here. I think like, what I should have been doing is just like, making sure- oh god. Ah! God, those platform- NO! FUCK! Those bullets just like, they freaking fly at you, man. Like, holy shit. Like, I'm just trying to attack the boss and... Okay, no fucking around this time. I have to beat this. This is not that hard. I have no idea why I'm having so much trouble. Okay, I can't... Oh, I could have hit him twice there. Shit. That didn't work out very well. Okay, no, can't get hit. So I, I need to attack those things and just make sure... Like, the things that um, shoot, like, the little yellow bullets. Just make sure that I, uh, just attack them, like, a little bit, and then make sure I avoid their bullets. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, nope, okay, there we go. <laughs> Whew! Jeez. Ah, jeez, okay, there we go. Fuck, this is crazy. <laughs> nope. Okay, just shoot. Hurry up, please. This, this just takes way too long. Okay, there we go. I love how you can just hit it like three fucking times. No! Okay, I thought- Oh, whew, that was close. That, I knew for sure that ring was gonna fall in there and I was gonna lose everything. He takes a lot of hits considering like... But I guess he is like a giant freaking octopus so he probably has like a lot of armor or something. Oh, there we go. Okay, I didn't hit him twice. Oh, there- oh, oh god! <laughs> well, that'd be hilarious if I didn't have rings there and just fucking died right at that point. <laughs> that would've sucked. Yay, we're saving penguins. I love penguins. Especially emperor penguins, which is like, what I think those are. That was really cool though, in May, um, me and- <gasps> LAVA REEF ZONE! Oh my god, I love this level! Holy shit! 
Oh, man, the music is, like, my favorite freaking Sonic track of all time. Like, it is just so good. Oh, what the hell's this? Whoa. Okay, it's, like, freaking, uh, like a walker thing. Oh, cool, it destroys the spikes. That's awesome. But, uh, sorry, I'm going back to my story. So, in, in May, we went to Calgary, and we went to the zoo, and we actually got to see penguins, and I've never been able to see penguins before. Like, um, so we spent, like, a good chunk of time there. And I'm glad we went there first, because, like, after we made our entire trip around, um, the zoo, we went to go back to them before we left, and it was closed, so I was like, oh, thank god we went first. And it, it was just so awesome, like, there were, there were so much fun to watch, just, like, uh, flopping around and stuff, it, <laughs> and, like, waddling around, I mean. It was great, I... I just like, I suggest anybody go to uh, the Calgary Zoo if they ever visit Calgary. If you happen to live in Canada too, but you know I guess <laughs> some of my a lot of my viewers are from the states that I've noticed, which is pretty awesome. It's good to see like such a a wide audience in the states and some from like other countries too, which is really surprising to me. Oh God! Oh, it's this thing. Of course it is. Hey, invincibility, right on. Um, rings. Okay. I love these, like, dinosaur, like, robots in the lava. They're great. Holy crap. Oh shit, okay. So it actually reminds me, so just today, like, as I'm recording this, I had I managed to get, like, uh, a person, like, talking in my oil, my last episode, the Oil Ocean one, um, talking about, like, his favorite zones and Sonic and all that stuff, and I asked him, oh geez, that was really close, okay. <laughs> um, but we... I was asking him, like, what his favorite track from, uh, Sonic games were, like, the 2D ones, and I told him this was my favorite one, so I'm curious to, like, the other viewers watching, I, I want to know what your guys' favorite, um, Sonic tracks are from, like, any of the Sonic games. It could be even, like, the 3D ones, because, like, regardless of, uh, you know, how good or bad the Sonic games are, um, especially, like, Sonic 06, like, that's a good example of a really bad Sonic game that has, like, fantastic mu music, like, that, that game has, like, some of the best, I think, in the franchise as well. Um, and it's really, really awesome because, like, the game is, it's just awful, obviously, but, you know, like, it's good that they could, they found, like, um, some kind of balance, like, at least tried to keep with the tradition of, like, Sonic games having amazing music. Oh god, everything's, like, falling apart, and I'm just, like, going back and forth here. Um, but yeah, like, it was just, it, sorry, it would just be interesting to see what you guys have to say, like, because there's so many iconic tracks in this franchise, like, freaking, um, Chemical Plant Zone's another one of my favorites, and, like, even Oil Ocean's, like, one of my favorites too, but we were actually talking about Mystic Cave from, uh, Sonic 2, and that is a really underrated, uh, freaking level, I think, like, it, um, I don't know, like, it, a lot of people just don't really like that level in general because of like all of the uh the vines like crushing you and stuff like that but i think that's like whoa it's melting okay but i think that's like more akin to like you know the first time you play the level it can be a little frustrating and it's not so bad um like when you get used to it and you know like if you kind of take your time a little bit like even like levels like this they have these enemies here and like lava rising up where you just kind of have to wait it out and I feel like, you know, advertising Sonic as, like, a, like, just a fast game was kind of, like, false because a lot of these games, like, do require platforming, and, like, and the platforming's actually done really well, I find. And, you know, it, and it's cool, at least they tried to branch out from, um, you know, these 2D games, which I think Sonic is the best at, um, you know, to tre at least try and do, like, 3D Sonic, um... You know, it doesn't always work for some franchises, like, you know, Mario worked out really well, Zelda worked out really well, um, and, you know, Sonic worked out for a while, like, I mean, we still have some really great... What the hell is happening right now? Oh, okay, it's that thing. Oh, okay, um, I think the lava is rising. I think that's what's happening. <laughs> um, oh, jeez, okay. There's a free life there. I might as well grab that since I lost, like, a bunch in the last level. Although I just gained, like, two from all the rings I've got. Holy shit, that's crazy. Um, what the, where the hell was I talking about? Oh, shit, I just totally lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, so, um, 
You know, like, Sonic Generations is a really good example of a great Sonic game. Oh, jeez, I don't even know where I'm going now. Um, but it, it combined, like, 2D and 3D, and, like, the, even the 3D in that game was great. But it, um, you know, like, some games, like, the Sonic and the Secret Rings or, like, the Black Knight, where they were trying to do, like, something different, it just didn't work out very well. And, you know, at least they tried something, though. And, um, you know, like, I feel like Sonic Adventure for the, its time was really good. Like, it hasn't aged very great. Um, and, you know, you see, like, a lot more videos now about, like, people complaining about, uh, you know, how awful it is. And, you know, like, it's just become more of a thing to hate on it lately, which is really strange, but, you know, I guess maybe a lot of people just realize, like, how not good it is. But, you know... Cons by today's standards, it's not good. Like, it definitely is way better. It was definitely, like, really awesome, like, when it came out. Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay, the lava hurts it. All right. I, I was like, why can't I attack it? That's really strange to me. Oh, God. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, I don't know if they keep I have to keep it in the same spot or something or what. Like, oh... Maybe? Oh no, okay, it actually has to dig into the ground. Okay, so I have to make sure that it goes on here. Yeah, it does have to destroy that. Okay, whoa! That's crazy, alright. But, you know, like, as I'm fighting this boss here, I do want to know, like, what your guys' favorite music tracks are, but I also want to know, like, do you guys, like, have a favorite, like, 3D Sonic game? Like, I'm curious about that too, because, you know, like, there's so much, like, Sonic games now, and... A lot of them, like, like Sonic Generations, for example, are, like, really fantastic. But even, like, Sonic Colors, like, gets superior, like, just, like, gets overlooked so much. And I have no idea why. Like, Sonic Colors was a fantastic ga game, like, and it still is. Like, it has the aesthetic of it, and, like, the idea of, like, going to a space station and, like, um... <laughs> You know, all these colorful levels and, like, an amusement park and all that shit was- it was so cool. Oh, hey! They kept, like, the second act the same. Okay. So they kept it, like, underground. This is really cool. I love the music in this stage, too. But you know what? We're gonna continue on into Lava Reef Zone in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, please leave it a like. Or leave- leave a like, sorry. <laughs> Smash that fucking like button. But, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for a new episode of Sonic Mania. You guys have a fantastic day. Bye bye